right now, we're going to have some time for the lightning talks. Uh, the lightning talks are a place where you can share your ideas, your side projects that you're building in your day-to-day -day life. And if you have any, any desire to talk right now, you can raise your hand and, and you can come here and talk about your project. Does anybody here uh, is building a side project that wants to talk about? Somebody? Oh, you. What's your name? Uh, Maka <laughs> Go okay. ahead, Bruno. Okay, yes. Okay, one of the motivations that the, I decided to organize Gambi Conf, etc., is because I like to share a lot, I like to make a lot of personal projects, etc. Here is my GitHub, okay, Maka M A C A B E U S. And uh, for a long time, I like to do some personal projects, to t try new ideas, to, to share my, uh, share what I'm doing, etc. And so one of my first big personal projects is, is this one about a compiler. Uh, someone here played the Ragnarok online. It was a very popular game. Oh, Leonel played the Ragnarok, etc. I, yes, my sister. <laughs> and yes, I really love Ragnarok. It was a very popular game on its time, Ragnar Ragnarok online. And on this game, but so many times it's, it's a little boring to, make, to play this game because there's a lot of green and you need to do the same action many, many times, etc. One of the solutions make it to make a computer play for you. And so I decided to make this personal project that is able to create more configurations on, on this. On, when you try to make the computer play for you, you need to do some uh, actions that need to be many, many times. And this personal project is to extend these possibilities to make the computer do more actions on the game. And the, all the personal approach that I was developing is about the Game Boy Advance, okay? And there is one game in Game Boy that I really love, that's this game, uh, Lonoa Empire of Dreams. It's a very nostalgic game, but I would like to play more levels in this game. And I want to make my own levels on this game. So I decided to create a personal project to be able to edit this game and customize and narrate a custom ROM with your own levels. And it's the second project that I made. And I gave some talks about that on some, con on some conference. I have a lot of blog posts to explain the process to customize the, the game. And uh, et cetera, I just want to share that. <laughs> okay, thank you. Which hex, hex code denotes the start of the JPEG image? The first one is the blue. It's the yellow. It's the green one. Ooh, nice. Okay, eight people got that one right. Let's go to the next question. Of course, of course, Blagoy, of course. <laughs> which, which of these libraries is used for text recognition? It's Blazor, Sarzak, Tesseract, Vit. Three, two, one. Okay, most of you got it right. Nice, it's Tesseract. Next question. Of course, blogger again. Of course you know. <laughs> Wiki right on right above. How are the parts which describe a specific segment of video file format structure called? It's markers, atoms, pointers, or references? Twelve answers, thirteen answers, fifteen answers, five, four, three, two, one. It's Adams. Wow, most of you got it right. Only three people missed for markers. Nice job, guys. 
We're going to streak. And Bruna is coming hot. Okay, next question. What's the name of the JavaScript feature that isn't available in Reason or OCaml? String with backtick. Template literals. Literal strings. Quoted PPX. Which one is it? Three, two, one. It's template literals. Wow, you guys are paying attention. Most of the answers are right. Nice. Blog boy, still leading. Luis, right below it. Next question. What's the name of the library used to write the parser? It's milieu, in here. R stat, again here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It's men here. Nice. Eight answers right. Black boy is still leading with Lewis right on his tail and Bruna as well. Let's get to the next question. After the rebranding of Reason, what's the name of the language? It's Reason ML, it's Buckle Script, it's Rescript, or OCaml JS. What is it? Three, two, one. Wow, you guys are paying attention. Nice to see. It's Rescript. Oh, my guy missed the first place for Luis. Nice. Next question, what does mutation testing check? That our code is correct and our designs are pretty. That our code is fast and maintainable. That our code is meaningful and, the, and our tests are strict. That our bosses will recognize our efforts and give us a big raise. What is it? Well, nice. You guys are paying attention. Yeah, that's right. Is that our code is meaningful and our tests are strict. Luis still leading with Hayes just below it. Nice. When was mutation testing first proposed? 1971. 1951, 2011, or 1991? When was it? 12 answers, five seconds, three, two, one. 1971, you guys are really nice. Only a few of you got it wrong, and Luis on a streak. What does it mean to kill a mutant? It runs out of CPU cycles. It makes a test fail. It runs out of Ethereum gas. Gas is expensive. It makes the machine crash. What is it? Three, two, one. Wow, wow, guys really paid attention, okay. Only one of you missed. Luis, on fire. And the last question. What was Stan's first gaming console? A Game Boy, a Mega Drive, a PlayStation 2, or an Xbox? I hope Tang got, got this right. Three, two, one. Well, a PlayStation 2, that's right. Well, let's see who won it. In third place, Dave. In second place, Hayes. And in first place, Luis. You can come up here, Luis. Bruno, Bruno, Bruno.
Come here, come here, come here. Really nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank you Michael. King of Kahoot. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, Liz. That's nice. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 50% of correct answers. Nice. That's nice. Well, uh, we are reaching the end. Thank you, everyone that played this game. Congratulations, Luis. And now Bruno is going to say, oh, what? What happened? Oh, yeah, there's still food. You can't eat it. Don't, don't, let's not waste the food. Uh, food is not meant to be wasted. We can go there and eat. Uh, Bruno, do you want to have your final uh, words in this? Let me just grab the mic. Okay. Okay. No, just to say thank you for everyone. It's a pleasure to have everyone here on the holidays. And thank you for coming here.